Hello, welcome to a very, very amazing lecture. And in this lecture, we are going to be talking about minerals products. We look at oil products or look at non oil products. We give you examples, we give you details what they are and how important they are to our economy and to our society. My name is Ehabo Success and welcome to my marketing class. I love marketing. Now, what are mineral products? Mineral products are substances that occur naturally. Nobody created them. They are inorganic. Nobody created them. They can occur as solid. They can occur as liquid. They can occur as gas. They have what called definite chemical composition. Definite chemical composition. Definite chemical composition. Now, when we say mineral products have definite chemical composition, it means that the occurrence of that mineral have chemical composition that varies within a specific limit range. What do I mean? For example, this is water. Water occurs naturally as H2O, definite mineral composition. Salt occurs as NaCl, sodium chloride, sodium chloride, definite mineral composition. So minerals basically, in a very, very simple way, are anything that occurs naturally, substances that occur naturally. So any substance that occurs naturally, either as solid, liquid, or gas, we call them minerals. Now, we want to go deeper again and ask ourselves questions oil and non oil products question is what is an oil product an oil product or petroleum product right are useful derivative and these are derivative useful materials that you get from crude oil so when these engineers they go either offshore or onshore, and I discovered that at a particular bed, right somewhere, at a particular bed somewhere, right, this is a brand, at this zone somewhere, they discovered that through geology, right, they now discovered that okay, there is oil here. Or there is oil here, right? So what they will now do is they will now drill for this place to bring out the crude oil. So this is your rig. Don't mind my drawing. <laughs> so they will now drill down here to bring out the crude oil. So this crude oil now can be refined into diesel, into fuel. It can be refined into kerosene. It can be refined into jet fuel. It can be refined into petrochemical products. Sorry, um, yeah, chemical products. It can be refined into quota, <laughs> the one that is used for road. So that is what oil products are. Not oil products, on the other hand, are they are um some they are known. Oil products. So non oil products are basically not oil products. So any natural occurring substance that is not oil product is called non oil products. That is just it. Example of them is your cassava, your ginger, your, your garlic, your flour, your salt, your crops. They are not oil products. They are not oil, obviously. Your yam, those things that you can cultivate, they are called non oil products. So let me come again. We have oil products and we have non oil products. Non oil products are anything that is not an oil product or petroleum product. So petroleum products are gotten from crude oil. I hope you guys are following, right? So non oil products can be cassava, yam, garments, cocoa butter, your gum, Arabic, 
your your cotton, right, or ginger, and so on and so forth. In this class, we have been able to explain what minerals are. I've learned to see what oil products are or what non oil products are. In our subsequent class, we're going to look at how petroleum products are marketed and how the marketing can be improved. I hope to see you guys in the next class. Safe fights and enjoy. Thank you.